sunlit entrances still record the passage of the seasons in locations throughout the American Southwest. People throughout history and throughout the world have sought the synchronization and integration of the solar and lunar cycles. In the American Southwest are the remains of an elaborate culture, the Anasazi. Long ago, these people recorded the movement of the sun on rock formations and in rock dwellings. Their etchings are called petroglyphs. One significant petroglyph is above Chaco Canyon, near the top of an outcropping known as Vegeta Butte. On a wall are two spiral petroglyphs, one large and one small. Sunlight passes over them at various times throughout the year. On the summer solstice, a single sliver of sunlight, a sun dagger, appears near the top of the larger spiral and over a period of 18 minutes, slices its way down through the very center, cutting the spiral in half before leaving it in shadow once again. On the winter solstice, two daggers of light appears for 49 minutes, during which time they exactly frame the larger spiral. Finally, an equally fascinating and more complex light show occurs on the spring and fall equinoxes. On each equinox, a dagger of light appears that cuts through the larger spiral, not through its center, but exactly between the fourth and fifth grooves from the center. In other words, it cuts exactly halfway between the center and the outer edge of the spiral, just as the equinoxes cut the time between the solstices exactly in half. A more spectacular display of a petroglyph is the view of the sun dagger at Hovenweet National Monument. Two concentric circle spirals are illuminated as the sun rises on the summer solstice. Within a matter of minutes, two separate shafts of light, the first appearing from the left and the second from the right, make contact in the center forming one large band of light. Another unique petroglyph is this one. It records the sudden appearance in the skies of a supernova or an exploding dying star in 1054 AD. The supernova glowed as brightly as the full moon. It dominated the skies during the night and day. For the people of Chaco, the supernova would have flamed above their canyon next to a crescent moon. The Chacoan people recorded this event. The images in the Chaco pictograph, sealed against the centuries by the dry desert air, are still vivid. The artist seems intimately present. Chaco Canyon contains the most sweeping collection of ancient runes north of Mexico. Some structures are thought to serve as astronomical observatories or calendars. The canyon itself runs along one of the lunar alignment lines, suggesting the location was originally chosen for its astronomical significance. Many Chacoan buildings were aligned to capture the solar and lunar cycles, requiring generations of astronomical observations and centuries of skillfully coordinated construction. At Chaco, there is a great circular structure named Casa Rinconada, half sunk into the earth on a hill. This kiva is a ceremonial place in Chacoan culture, as well as a symbol of the cosmos. Aligned with the cardinal directions, the line connecting the north and south doors to Casa Riconada is within one-third of a degree of true north. A compelling alignment exists within Casa Riconada. At sunrise on the summer solstice, a beam of light from a northeastern opening in the kiva precisely illuminates a uniquely placed niche in the far wall. Another Chacoan culture building lies further north at Hovenweep Castle. The building is aligned so that the light is channeled through slots into the building at sunset of the summer solstice, the winter solstice, and the spring and fall equinox. The light falls in a predictable pattern on interior door lintels. The solar and lunar cosmology encoded in the massive architecture at Chaco Canyon or at Hovenweep, the building's orientations, internal geometry, and geographic relationships unify the Chacoan people with each other and with the cosmos.
This order in the cosmos is recorded in vast stretches across the sky, the desert, and time. It is as though to be held in the mind's eye, one thinking eye that sees into and beyond natural phenomena to a sacred order. The Chacoans transformed an empty space into a reach of the mind. For this, the Chaco culture is our choice for number four.